today we're going to be creating some fun St. Patrick's Day inspired bows using Dress It Up Button Embellishments Pot of Gold. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, a needle and thread with your thread doubled and knotted. You're going to need a one and a half inch hair clip and a one and a half inch piece of three eighths ribbon to cover that hair clip. You're also going to need three pieces of 10 inch ribbon. I'm using seven eighths. You're also going to need four pieces of nine inch ribbon and I'm using the three eighths. You're going to need your hot glue gun as well as some hot glue sticks. So let's get started. The first step is to prepare our hair clip and get it ready to glue the bow to it. So I'm using a one and a half inch hair clip. It's just a metal hair clip. And then I have cut a piece of three eighths ribbon and I'm going to glue this to the top of the hair clip using some hot glue. And this is going to be the surface where we're going to glue our prepared bow. For the next step, we want to take our three pieces of 10 inch ribbon and we want to lay those on top of each other. Just stack those up. You want to take both ends and pinch them together. If you're using pattern ribbon, you want your patterns to be facing towards the inside. With your needle and thread, you want to take your needle and place it going from the inside of the loop that you have created out of your ribbons and push the needle halfway through. Open up your ribbons and spread them apart so that you have even spacing between each ribbon. Now with your needle in the center, you want to take one piece of ribbon at a time and fold it over and thread it onto your needle. You want to repeat this pattern going all the way around folding your ribbon over and pushing the needle through. Once you have folded over all of your ends and passed them through the needle, now you can grab your needle and pull it all the way through all of the pieces of the ribbon. Using your needle and thread, stitch back through the center of your bow several times. Once you have stitched through several times, you want to come to the back and trim off your thread and sit this portion of your bow to the side. Moving on to the second layer of your bow, you want to take your four pieces of nine inch ribbon and you want to stack these just like we started with the first set of ribbons. If you're using different colors, you want to alternate your colors as you are creating your ribbon stack. Again, you want to pinch your ends together, bring them together to create a loop and take your needle and thread going from the inside of the loop, thread your needle halfway through the stack of the ribbons. Spread your ribbons apart so that you have even spacing and you're going to repeat the same process that we did with the bottom layer of our bow. Take each piece of the ribbon, folding it over to the center and threading it onto the needle right at the end of the ribbon. Adjust the placement of all of your ribbons and then pull your needle through all of your ribbons. Stitch back and forth through the center a few times to secure the center of your bow. Finish your stitching on the back and trim the ends of your thread. Bring in the bottom layer of your bow and place the top layer over the top of that bottom layer just to figure out the placement. Then you want to use some hot glue to glue the bottom section and the top section together. Once you have glued your bow together, we're ready to bring in our Dress It Up button embellishments, Pot of Gold. There are several buttons in this package. They are all shank style buttons and any one of these would be a beautiful addition to your bow. Pick your favorite button from the pack and flip your button over to the back. There is a shank on the back. Using a cutter tool or a very sharp pair of scissors, you want to remove the shank from the back of your button and then you want to add a layer of hot glue and place this down in the center of your bow. I have chosen a lucky leprechaun from the pot of gold dress it up button embellishments to add to the center of my St. Patrick's Day bow. Now we're ready to secure this to our hair clip. Add a layer of hot glue to the ribbon that is on the top of your hair clip and then place your bow onto the center of your hair clip. Once your glue has dried, your bow is complete. 